Get us back online, now! Damn it. Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming, bringing you guys and girls a new discussion video. Yesterday, in a post on LinkedIn, the Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at Electronic Arts made a claim that the next-gen consoles will be a generation ahead of the highest-end PCs out there on the market. And he made this claim in terms of raw horsepower of the platform, notwithstanding the fact that PCs don't really have generations, notwithstanding the fact that PCs work vastly different than consoles, his, his claim that somehow PCs, the highest end PCs, would be inferior in terms of horsepower to $300, $500 consoles just makes me sh shake my head, just makes me turn around and ask, what the hell have you been smoking? Seriously, how can you make the claim that the highest end PCs are, are going to be inferior to a $300 to $500 machine? In terms of hardware, PCs are vastly superior, are going to be vastly superior to next-gen consoles. But there, there needs to be made a point about how uh, developing for console works, works versus how developing for PC works. For PCs, because of uh, the, uh, the various configurations, the many different configurations individual users have, in terms of hardware, developers have to use an API like OpenGL or, or DirectX uh, to be able to make these components run with each other. They have to. Uh, for consoles, they program, as developers say, directly to metal in the sense that every single console has the same hardware as the other. Uh, like every single PlayStation 3 has the same hardware, uh, every single Xbox has the same hard hardware as one another. Uh, so they can program directly to metal to use the maximum potential of the console hardware. So they're able to squeeze a lot more juice from the console hardware versus the PC hardware because they don't have to take into account all the different configuration and they don't have to use an API for console games. So with that in mind, you can squeeze more juice, but even so, PCs are and will be superior in terms of horsepower they are superior to current gen consoles, they will be superior to next gen consoles. If you're talking about the very highest end PCs. What is a, the very highest end PC? What is your definition of that electronic arts? I, I just wish to know, because if you're talking about the computer that has four gigabytes of RAM, a Sandy Bridge i5 processor, along with a GTX 560T, then you might be right that the next gen consoles will be superior to that kind of computer. But that's a medium range computer right now. You can run pretty much every game on some pretty uh, high settings at a decent frame rate with that computer, but it is not the highest end PC. The highest end PC is something that looks um, something like this. 32 gigabytes of DDR3, uh, SLI GTX Titans, or if you're a fan of AMD, Crossfire, AMD, Radeon, HD, 7990s in Crossfire, along with an i7 3770K IV bridge processor with a Z77 motherboard to squeeze more juice out of the processor and an SSD along with the power source to go with that. That's how the highest end PC or a very, very high end PC looks um, right now on the market. Hell, you can even go further than that, but you shouldn't need to go further than that. But you can, and you can, I don't know, you probably can, there are probably better processors out there, and you can even, and you can overclock your components uh, beyond the um, factory clocks to even, to squeeze even more performance out of them. But let's, let's go with this configuration. i7 3770K IV bridge processor, 32 gigabytes of DDR3 with the Z77 motherboard uh, and SLI Titans or Crossfire AMD cards. And you're gonna compare that to a 300 to $500 console and say that they, they can give you more raw horsepower what the hell have you been smoking, EA? If you honestly believe that, I'm not going to pronounce this guy's name because I probably would butcher it, but I have to ask him, what the hell are you thinking? Do you seriously believe this is going to be the case? Do you seriously believe that the $500 console is going to be able to compete with the computer uh, with these components, which costs 
over three thousand dollars at least it can even cost more depends whether or not you go with amd or nvidia because titans sli titans are quite expensive right now but that's the highest end pcs and you're telling me that the next gen consoles are going to be able to match that despite the advantage consoles have in terms of developing for them and that they don't need an api i just don't see it happening and personally I don't think that the chief technology officer is that stupid enough, though you may never know with electronic arts nowadays. I don't think he is that stupid enough to actually genuinely believe that. So you might ask yourself, well, why, are, why is he making these claims? My belief is that he's making these claims out of marketing or, well, PR. It's a PR move by electronic arts because they've recently announced their new EA Sports engine, Ignite, and this engine will not support PC, PC gaming. And I think with this post, or th that point, that next-gen consoles will be superior in terms of performance to high the highest-end PCs right out, out there on the market right now, he's trying to justify the fact that their engine, their Ignite engine, will not support PCs which is a load of bullshit. So it's a PR move and it's a complete load of bullshit. Don't believe that for a second. If you're a console gamer, I can tell you this for a fact as a PC gamer, it's not just not gonna happen. You cannot expect a console to have more horsepower than the highest end PC right there on the market. That doesn't mean, by the way, that console games will necessarily look inferior to PC games. In fact, you can get console games which look the same on PC, but what the advantage you have on PC versus consoles is that you might have games that run at a higher frame rate. Actually, you will have games running at a higher frame rate between consoles and the highest end PCs. Like we've already heard some rumors, for instance, for Thief, uh, for the next Thief game that it will be limited to 30 frames per second on the next gen consoles, uh, whereas on PC you will you very likely will be able to run it at over 60 frames per second. Hell, even 120. Uh, another thing is resolution. Will next-gen games run at 1080p resolution, or will they still be stuck at 720p? I think it's likely that they'll run at 1080p, but we don't know for certain. We shall wait and see with regards to that. So, resolution, uh, 1080p, 1920 by 1080 On PC, you can run games even higher than that, with a better frame rate and with the same graphical quality. So there are three things to account for, resolution, frame rate, and the actual graphical quality. And what I'm seriously wondering is if next-gen games can match PCs with regards to frame rate, resolution, and graphical quality. My guess as a PC gamer is then no. I find highly unlikely that a console game would be able to get better frame rate then and better resolution and better graphical quality overall than a PC game, than the PC version of that game on the highest end machines right now. What needs to be kept in mind, by the way, that the consoles are not yet out, that Intel is going to be releasing one more processor this year, perhaps even more processors these, these years. AMD is going to be releasing more graphics cards as well. NVIDIA next year is releasing the Maxwell graph, uh, their first Maxwell graphics cards, which are going to be able, which are going to destroy every graphics card out there on the market right now from what I'm hearing. And I'm supposed to believe that somehow next gen is going to be better than the highest end PCs right now. Even if they they match them, which I find very unlikely, at least on that on that level of the very highest NPCs, as this guy claimed, he made the point of the highest NPCs. If he was talking about medium range PCs, yes, he would be right. The, the consoles would be better than the medium range PCs, which most people have granted. But you don't get to claim that the highest NPCs are going to be matched or beaten by five hundred dollar consoles. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. That's actually the purpose. That's actually the reason people spend so much money in their PCs because they want that performance. They want to play games in, their, in that high resolution. They want to play games that look very good and run good at high resolution. That's the reason people are willing to spend so much money on their PCs. 
it's not just uh, having the game look good in terms of texture quality effects and all of that. It's also running that game at 60 frames or even more um, with a very high resolution. It's being able to run a game at a good frame rate in 3D. It's being able to run a, a game with NVIDIA Surround, for instance, or iFinity, if I'm not mistaken, with regards to the name for AMD cards. That's the purpose of buying such a high-end PC, but you don't need to do that. Hell, I very much doubt that next-gen consoles will even be able to match a computer like mine. Mine is not the very highest end, but my computer with its i7 3770K IV Bridge processor, an EVGA GTX 670, and 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM is probably better, very likely better uh, than the next-gen consoles. I'll be able to squeeze more out of it than next-gen consoles will be able to. That's just my opinion on the matter. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll be proven wrong with regards to this, but we'll have to wait and see. Still, for now, I've said all I wanted to say. Questine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.